us. We're going to take you on an exotic journey over the next few minutes. Kim Spiro is here from the Rotary Foundation to speak about a recent trip to Ghana. Windsor is full of amazing people that do wonderful things and if this next segment doesn't warm your heart, I don't know what will. Uh, welcome today Kim and thank you for, we've been talking and it's just blowing me away the wonderful things that you were able to accomplish on your recent journey and I'm so excited for you to share that with our viewers. Can you tell us where you've been and what you've been up to? Well, first of all, thank you very much for inviting me. I really appreciate it. Um, I just wanted to start off by saying that ordinary people can do extraordinary things if they set their heart and mind to it. So um, while we did have an exotic adventure, it's an adventure that just about anyone could participate in. So uh, I led a team of 22 volunteers mm -hmm. from all over Windsor and Essex County. And um, I'm a Rotarian, so it was a Rotary mission. And we visited an area called Asin Baraku in Ghana, Africa. So Ghana is in the west side of Africa. Okay. And it's an extremely impoverished um, democratic country, mm -hmm. but the poverty is um, just it's so heartbreaking to, to see that. I think I mentioned to you that I've gone to Nicaragua and Haiti, mm -hmm. and that's very, very, very poor there. The conditions are just awful. but. It, in Nicaragua, they have you know a garbage dump that they can scavenge from and earn a living. In Africa, they don't even have a dump. It's profound. So there's poverty. poor, and then there's Africa poor. Wow. And how was this destination selected? We um, tend to go to Africa because we have people that we can count on and trust mm -hmm. uh, to support our missions. So okay. in Rotary, we like to partner. Rotary is a worldwide international organization. Mm -hmm. So we're able to partner with other Rotary clubs. So mm -hmm. we have partnered with Rotary clubs in Ghana. And we have several people who are from Ghana, Dr. Godfrey Bachia, okay. who many people in the Windsor community know. Mm -hmm. He um, heads neonatology at Windsor Regional Hospital, and he was from Ghana. And he, as a Rotarian, continues to go back to Ghana and uh, work on humanitarian projects. And he introduced me uh, to Ghana, and I've been going uh, well, this was my third mission, so wow. I keep going back. Tell us about this unbelievable journey that you've been on. What kind of things were you working on while you were down there? Well, we left on March 5th mm -hmm. and uh, arrived in Accra, the capital of Ghana. Okay. And we had checked in 59 hockey bags full of different uh, supplies, including medical supplies, soccer balls, soccer uniforms, school supplies, backpacks, all kinds of different things that they would need. Um, and uh, when we arrived in Accra, we were met by Rotarians from the Accra Rotary Club, and they had secured a bus for us, and we traveled uh, the four and a half, five hour drive to a remote area called Aston Baraku, and that's where we did most of our projects in that region. And one of them hits very close to home in terms of the school that you were renovating and doing some major work on. Yes, one of our highlight projects was a school mm -hmm. that we um, renovated. We didn't have to build it from the ground up. We have done that in the past, but this school had some good legs already to it, so it just needed some um, renovations, including a new roof, and we painted the entire school. My sister is a teacher, and um, sadly she passed away this summer, and she was always very helpful uh, with our Rotary projects to Africa, mm -hmm. and she used to get her students involved in penny drives and different things to help us raise funds. Mm -hmm. So I wanted to do something special, and before she passed away, I told her that I was going to build a school in uh, Aston Baraku, and I was going to dedicate it in her honor. Wow. And I know she she was very touched by that. 